Afternoon to you. This has been swirling for a number of weeks now, but the president's tweet caught everyone off of, by everyone by surprise. Of course, you remember back in 1981, Israel annexed the Golan Heights, was never re uh, officially recognized as part of Israel. It has been alternately described as being occupied territory by Israel or uh, territory under the control of Israel was the most recent American characterization of it. But now we find out from President Trump that he is going to officially recognize the Golan Heights as part of Israel. Here's that tweet to which he referred saying, quote, after 52 years, it's time for the United States to fully recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, which is of critical strategic and security importance to the state of Israel and regional stability. Uh, our Maria Bartiromo from the Fox Business Channel just walked behind me out of the White House driveway. She sat down to interview the president. It will air in its full uh, tomorrow morning on Mornings with Maria. Uh, but she was kind enough to uh, give us the president's reaction to her question about the uh, recognition of the Golan Heights as part of Israel. Here's what she asked him. Here's what the president said. Mr. Yeah. President, let me end on the Golan Heights because yes. you, you, you tweeted about this today in Israel. You said it is time for the U.S. to recognize Israel's yeah. sovereignty uh, and, and, and the Golan Heights. Why now? Why did you send that out? Uh, I've been thinking about doing it for a long time. It's been a very hard decision for every president. No president has done it. It's not about Netanyahu's re-election. No, I don't. I wouldn't even know about that. I wouldn't even know about that. I have no idea. I hear he's doing okay. I don't know if he's doing great right now, but I hear he's doing okay. But I would imagine the other side, whoever's against him, is also in favor of what I just did. Every president has said, do that. I'm the one that gets it done. You heard Maria Bartiroma there say, is this about Netanyahu's reelection? The president saying, I wouldn't know about that. The president did speak with Netanyahu before sending out his tweet today. Netanyahu will be here at the White House next week. We do not know what will happen, whether or not there will be a formal declaration, something that the president might sign. Uh, while Netanyahu is here, or if it will just be a verbal affirmation, we don't know at this at this point. But Netanyahu is certainly appreciative of what the president did, tweeting out, quote, at a time when Iran seeks to use Syria as a platform to destroy Israel, President Trump boldly recognizes Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Thank you, President Trump. The move was also supported by senators like Rubio, Cruz, and uh, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, who tweeted out himself, quote, President Trump's decision to recognize the Golan as part of Israel is strategically wise and overall awesome. Well done, Mr. President. Now I, along with Senator Cruz, will try to get Congress to follow your lead. Um, don't know how that would go, but there's been a lot of support for Israel in the Congress, so we'll see.